Um, so the curriculum for the advanced beginner starts with um, a review of letters and a little bit of review of what you've already learned. Um, Friday night Shabbat blessings over the can candles, the wine and the challah, hand washing blessing, blessing of the children. Um, Shalom Aleichem, which was the first prayer we did, right? Friday night Kiddush, which we've also done, right? Okay, so then because it's the spring semester, they move into Passover things. Um, and I guess it's a little early, but we I don't have to go in this order, but whatever. Um, there'll be um, then the Barhu and the Shema, the Shamru and the Chadodi. Um, we did the Chadodi, right? A little bit of yes, that. okay. Hatsi Hatsi Kaddish and Mourner's Kaddish, which again, Hatsi Kaddish is just easier than Mourner's Kaddish, and we're in the midst of Mourner. We just did Mourner's Kaddish, but we can review. Lachuna Ranana, Shirul Adonai, Yismahu Hashamayim. So these are all prayers from Shabbat morning services. Havul Adonai, Adon Olam, Matovu, Enkeloheinu, Aleinu. Torah blessings. Um, they didn't have time for Birkat Hamazon, which I did not have time for either, but there is a wonderful uh, recording and teaching session of it on the Women's League website. So if you can read proficiently, you can learn it via the Women's League website recording. Um, Orza Ruach, Sadiqa Tamar, by Hulu. So, I mean, there's lots of, lots to know from, from Shabbat morning service, and that's what it is. And there are those who used just whatever Sidor everyone had handy and had the different pages ready. Um, I think um, one teacher used um, the, the uh, book that follows Shalom Aleichem, which is called Ein Kelohenu, I think. I'm not sure, but there's a Noah Go Lincoln book that she used. And I believe um, Julia Loeb has the PDF of that if we wanted to use that book. So honestly, I haven't really made a decision one way or another. So anyway, okay, that's all of the administrative stuff. I have a question on it um, because my internet quit and I had to come back in. Did did you say that we get uh, that there is somewhere the same thing as far as vowels and vowel names as there I'm going to send you a page oh okay thank you yeah i don't think in the book uh hold on does he have a page in the book for the vowel names give me one second hold on no i don't think he does Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, someone else was saying something? Yeah, saying something worthless. So forget it. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he has it anywhere in the book. So I'm going to send no. it to you. I have a page that I will send to you. I'll you, include you it did, this way. You did provide us with one way back. Oh, I did. Okay. Way, way back. Yeah. Um, it, was it separate or was it in the um, compilation of the homework? I you think know, it was I a separate attachment. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's yeah. Really in the homework, in the homework, yeah. I do talk a little bit about the vowels. Um, on the very first page of the homework, um, so I say that the one dot is chiri, it sounds like e. The two dots is sere. And then, so mm -hmm. I do talk about it literally on the very first page of the homework, I believe. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that covers. All of them. It does not. No. It does not. So I'll send you the separate page. Okay, thank you. I'll attach it um, as uh, either a PDF or a PNG or whatever once I scan it. Um, and Ra Rachel, to be clear, it, we're talking the advanced beginner class because I thought I heard you say something about intermediate. She did. Right. The intermediate yeah. is beyond that. We're talking right, advanced right. Yes. beginner. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You all would fall to, you would, you would, you would move up to advanced beginner. But I all, don't believe all the prayers you were just talking about, that's what you said were for intermediate, but that's really for advanced beginner. 
I misspoke. I meant advanced beginner. That okay. is all oh. advanced beginner. Yes, I, I, I apologize. That I, was, say I think that's a lot of prayers. <laughs> I hope we can do it, but that's really um, aggressive. Well, it runs the dates here. That's the word. The dates here are from February 5th to June 4th. Okay. Oh, that's the semester. Oh. So, um, and I guess it depends on how hard we practice. Yeah, exactly. How much progress you make regularly each week, which makes sense to me. Okay. Yeah. And have you decided you will be with us or you've not made that decision yet? Um, I'm leaning toward it. I only just finally got this, this um, curriculum, I want to say yesterday. So mm -hmm. until I saw the curriculum, I wasn't willing to commit. It's like, well, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Like, you know, I'm not a teacher. I, I can't make this up myself. So I wanted to know what they were doing. I, I don't trust myself to, you know, decide. And, and I also think we should all be teaching the same curriculum. So, and, you know, it was easy for me to say yes once I saw the Shalom Aleichem book. I, I felt very comfortable that I could teach the contents of that book. So, um, so anyway. Um, Rachel, one final question. Do you know why they didn't post last week's class to the website? I think they're all off. I think the building's closed. Okay. So I checked Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I sent an email to Dr. Uh, Rabbi, uh, not Doctor Rabbi Ellen Wollens Fields, and I got an out of office reply telling me that the office is closed until January third. I think is wow. yeah. So the building is literally closed. So I'm pretty sure that's why they just give them the weeks off because the building's closed anyway. You know, were it not COVID, they couldn't come in and they get those weeks off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's why it's not posted. Okay. Um, why don't we, I know we're supposed to go on and I know we have one more um, anomaly to learn that I mentioned to you all this last letter vowel combination when it comes at the very end of the word and it's pronounced ach instead of ha, we'll get to that. It's the very last kind where of, is that? Where, what page is that on please? I, we, I haven't shown you in the book yet. I'm oh. just telling you it exists. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I need to turn the page on what I'm looking at, and then I'll be able to tell you. Um, <clears throat> so that doesn't come until page 60, and we're not there yet. We're only on 55. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Um, and that's part of Unit 9. <clears throat> So unit nine, um, Aleinu and Havuladunai and Adon Olam. But um, I feel like we should read um, Kaddish again. Um, Mourner's Kaddish that even though we read through it that nobody feels really comfortable. I see a lot of people making faces. <laughs> And uh, before everyone was on, some of you told me that, yeah, you know, this is a challenge. And so, yes. So why don't we do that? Okay. Um, page 53. And hopefully, you know, you're using the link to Berman, the Bar I call it Berman because it has an HR, Berman House, where they will read lots of things to you, pronounce it for you. Really excellent, perfect pronunciation, honestly and excellent practice at your own speed, right? Right, okay. So in the box, the lower part of page 53, yes? Yes. Okay. Um, Connie, will you start for us? And um, read to the end of the, whatever line you're reading. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shamei rabah v'alma divra. So you understand, read the last two words separate. D, 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 Vra. There you go, D, Vra, exactly. Just so you know, those are, even though we hear them and it sounds like people are saying them as one word, we know they are <laughs> two words, but you did that perfectly. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> um, Linda, will you read the next line? Um, I started with um, Kibu. 
No. So, let's break it down. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Okay, let's break it down syllable by syllable, okay? Yeah. So v yeah. The the yod and the ah, yeah. Yeah. Now the mem and the lamid go together. So listen to me. The mem and the lamid go together. Okay, because the mem is the beginning of the next syllable and it has a schwa under it. So it's just going to have a mm sound, right? No mm. vowel sound with it. Mm. And then you have the lamid and the mm. yud mm. with one dot. So mli. Mm. So it sounds mli, right? M L E, mli. Mm. And, and then the, 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 the final letter is just a consonant sound. <sighs> Yeah. The half so feet, right? So v yam lich. Ah, malal mal v v ya v ye by no v am lich. Yes. V mal lich mal chute v v chaye chon. Yes. So is the first letter of the word you just said a bet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Yam. Uv yom me chon. Yes. Um. Uv chaye. Very nice. Okay. So I'll just repeat it. You got them all. Chirute v'yam lich malchute v'chaye chon. Uv yo me chon, uv chaye. Very good, thank you. Um, Barbara, will you read the next line? The chal beit Israel, the agala, uviz man, kariv dimru, amen. Beautiful, very nice. I just want to point out um, that on the Behrman recording, the dechal, the first word, they're going to read it as chol, dechol, which is, again, a regional or pronunciation difference, which most of us will hear in our shuls, dechol bait. This ah, it sort of is morphed into a o. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, next line, Audrey, please. Yehe shema. Mm-mm. Yehe, um, Two dots under the mem. Oh, Shemay, Rabbi. Thank you. Know that. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I got the first letter wrong. Um, so I got Rabbi. Okay. Mava Ray. There's a lot under the Raish. Right? It's a straight line. Mava right. Yes. Lail. Leila, Leilam, Ul Al, Ul Al May, uh, Al Ma Ya. Al yes. Ma okay, so do it one more time a little smoother. That may not be possible. Um, yeah, A, Shame, Raba. Navara Lalam Lalam Ul Al Me Al Ma Ya. Yes. So Yehe Shme Raba Mivarach Le Alam Ul Al Me Al Ma Ya. Yes, that's it. Very good. Um, I think I'm going this way. Mary Ellen, will you read the next line? Vayit Barak, Vayish Tabak, Vayit Pa'ar, Vayit Romam, Vayit Nase, Vayit 
Hadar. Beautiful, lovely, very nice. Eileen, will you read the next line? Vayit Allah, Ale. Ale, Ale, actually. Excuse me? It's Le, because it's three dots, Vayit Ale. Oh, okay. Vayit Ale, Vayit Halal, Shemeh. Shmei, Kucha, Bari, 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 Hu, Le Alal. Look what? Leila. That's good. All right. And I'm so pleased that you corrected yourself on Bari, Hu. Exactly. That's the one that we think it's a different word. But I'm just going to repeat, you did very nicely. Be'it ale, I'm sorry, be'it ale, be'it halal, shemei, dekudasha, berich hu, la'ela. Right, that was beautiful. All right, we're going to skip the word in the parenthesis. Um, Connie, when you read the next line, ignore the word in the parenthesis, start with the next word. Mean kol. Birchata Visha Vishirata Tush Behata Venehe Mata. Beautiful. Really well done. Thank you. Linda, will you read the next line? Dami Ra the Alma the the Ima. Amen. Good. We do it one more time smoothly. Da Amiran the Alma the Imru. Amen. That was perfect the second time. Um, Audrey, the next line, please. Yehe um Shalam Shalama Raba Mean Shamaya. Bacha Yim, Bachaim, Alenu, Bial Kol, Bial Kol, Kol or Kal? Kal. Kal. Why don't you finish the line? Um, yesh, Yeshare, Yesh, Shareel. That's a sin, not a shareel. Oh, Sare, oh, yes, sir. Yes, oh, Yisrael. There you are. <laughs> Yisrael. The Imru. Amen. Right. I was trying, it was so simple. I was trying to just let you finish. So I'm going to read this line okay. back. Yehe Shlama Raba, Min Shemaya, the Chaim Aleinu, the Al Kol Yisrael, the Imru. Amen. Okay. Um, Mary Ellen, will you read the next line? Oh, says Shalom, Bim Romav, who ya says Shalom, Aleinu, Aleinu, Ve'al. Beautiful. All right. And Eileen, will you finish us off those last four words? Al Yisrael, Ve'imru, Amen. Excellent. You all Amen. 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 <laughs> you all did great. You did much more. You were much more fluent than last time. We got through it much quicker. You just need to practice, practice, practice. You're going to get it. It's going to be fine. Okay. Um, let's turn to page 54. And we're going to do a simple one. We're going to do what's in the box, which is the hamotzi. Okay. Um, Linda? How about you read us, can you read uh, uh, lines 8, 9, and 10, which is the, the Baracha Hamotzi? Um, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Absolutely perfect. I love it. It's perfect and beautiful. Okay, let's turn the page. 55. Um, so these are phrases from all over the prayer book, and his focus is Shin versus sin. Okay, so you see at the top of 55, the shin on the right and the dot on the right, she is always right. 
correct? She, sin, she, um, shin. And then the sin on the left, what was our clue for that one? Just sounds like an S. Oh, it's no sin to be a lefty. That was the phrase for that, that one, which I am a lefty. Um, so you just remember that the shin is the one on the right. She is always right. And if it's not on the right, it's a sin. That's my basic <laughs> advice for you. <laughs> I, I can't help you more than that. So we're going to read line by line. Um, and I think we'll start with you, Audrey, if you would read line one. Shema Yisrael. That's it. You got it. Um, Barbara, line two. Um, hey, new. Perfect. Very nice. Um, Mary Ellen, line three. Okay. Yes, mehu hashamayim. Perfect. Eileen, line four. Baseru. Bas. It's actually bas. Basru. Basru, exactly. Uh, me rim. So that me, me rom, me rom. Me yom. Me yom. Me yom. <laughs> me yom. Le, le yom. Mm hmm Yet. Yes, rua to, to. So that's yes, a rua to. Yeshua to. Yeshua to. Oh, sure. Right. So I, I cannot, in my mind, tell you where this comes from in the Shabbat morning service, I have to say. Basru, Miyom, Liyom, Yeshua To. I don't know this line by heart. So it's a little, it's a little arcane for me. Connie, will you read line five? Ya Alos Shaddai Bechal Asher Bo. Beautiful. You guys are, you guys are doing great. Linda, line six. Um, sh uh, shalom. Uh, san, uh, sanu. Mm -hmm. Kado ye ha aratsot. Ha aratsot. Exactly. You, you're good. You just have to have faith and confidence in yourself. I think you know it. You just get nervous. I do know. I, I am to, it's, it's, you just totally it's second guess yourself. By, I say these things all the time at home. I read it constantly. Yeah, and you just get a little tongue tied when you're, when I'm looking at you. Exactly. So absolutely. could you repeat absolutely. the third word on page or the third word on, page, on number six? Sure. Could go yay. Okay. Um, I'm not, are we on line seven? I apologize. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Audrey, will you please read line seven? Hello, um, Samanu Kamish, uh, Kamish, Kamish, uh, Ko, Ko. Hot. Yep. Ha Adama. Ha Adama. Yes. <laughs> so now you're going to read it again nice and fluent. Yeah, one could hope. Um, Velo Samanu Kamas Mas Po. Me, Kami. Kamis. Kamish Hot. Ha Adama. Ha exactly. Kamish Bechot Ha Adama, exactly. You can do it. You just don't trust yourself. Uh, Barbara, line eight. Shalom, Sam, Helkenu, Hahem. Beautiful, perfect. Mary Ellen, line nine. They set Yamin Asa. Adonai. Perfect. Sheshet Yamim Asa Adonai. Perfect. Eileen, line 10. Milan, uh, <clears throat> Michal. That's a dot in the middle, so that Michal, makes it. Little... Michal, Thank you. Mala Chato. Mm hmm. Ash, Asher. Uh, wait. 
Asa. Yes. Now, will you read it again smoothly? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Mikal Malach Milachto mm -hmm. Asher, Asher Asa. Perfect. Thank you. Connie, line 11. Vishamru um. Vinay Yisrael et Hashabbat. Perfect. There we go. See? <laughs> and you then these are things you know. That's perfect. That's lovely. Okay, we're gonna so what is the difference? Why did he give us a new box with the same letter? I don't know. So lines 12 to 15, right? We still have the shin and the sin. And I don't know why he's put them in its own separate box, but he has. So this time he wants us to read down, not across, okay? Yeah. Okay, so Linda, um, all right, I'm trying to decide, do I give you 12 and 13? We'll start with just 12 and see how you guys do. If, if you're struggling, we'll keep it one at a time. So let's do 12. Uh, uh, Suru. That's a shin. Oh, Shiru. Yes. Ladanoi, Shiru, ha, hado, had, Hadash. Okay, so do it one more time and focus uh, on the third word. Oh, okay. Shiru, Ladanoi, Shi, Shir, Hadash. There you go. Perfect. Shiru, Ladanoi, Shir, Hadash. Can I stop for a second? Mm -hmm. um, so in 12, we may have studied this, but I did not um, remember that that would be pronounced Ladonai. So, so it makes sense, but. Yeah. So Hey Yud, Hey Yud is Adonai, and you put the right. Lamed in front of it, you get Ladonai. So um, again, it's an older method of doing it. In our prayer books, I believe this is going to come up as. Yud Hey uh, Vav Hey, but I'm not. I, uh, it's either yud hey vav hey or double yud. But what does the law mean? Uh, it's two. It's two. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. So instead of saying la donai, we should be saying la adonai. No, la donai no? is how I would oh. say it. That's how it's la donai. It's written la with adonai. the vowel under. It's written with the vowel underneath it. That's why I think was under the lamed. Under the lamed. And then the the, the the hey yud is a is a contraction or just a representation of the word Adonai. Right. So, we, so but we, I don't I think just in Hebrew, just um like babayat, it's like to my house, babayat, babaita mm -hmm. is to my house. It's not ba baita, it's babaita. Well, I guess it is babaita, but you it's kind of you know it gets clump together linked <laughs> yeah yeah um so because i would say the way we sing it shiru ladonai shir hadash that's how we say it shiru ladonai la adonai is a bit strung out and we say ladonai okay okay uh 13 i think um who just read <laughs> um uh linda led so so barbara i think you're 13 Vihishtabu. You left out a letter. Try it again. Vihishtahabu. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Lahar kacho. Except it's a hey, lahar. It's not a right? It's, it's a lahar. Yeah. Lahar, right? Har is mountain um, to the holy mountain. Ah. Um, Audrey 14. Shem, shem, shemor. Shemor. Mm -hmm. um, ko, kor. So there's no dot in that. Chaf. Chor, chor. Yeah, so say it again. Read the whole thing together. Shem, shemar. Um, the, the shemor. Uh -huh. the kor, kor. 
v'zachor, shamor, v'zachor, v'dibor, right, it's from the, right, so this is shamor, v'zachor. That one I don't know at all, and, um, but thank you, that's, this is good. You're giving it a tune? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> really, because I, okay. I don't think I've heard it. Okay, um, Mary Ellen, 15? Vayish boat. Mm-hmm. Bayim. Yom. Bayom. Bayom. I always do that. Bayom. Hash. Vish. Hash. Vi. Yish. Hash vi. Exactly. So do it again. Read it smooth. Okay. Um. Vayish boat. Bayom. Hashvi'i. Perfect. By Yishbot, by Yom Hashvi'i, right? I don't recognize that either. Okay. So Is that Friday from, night? From Friday night Kiddush, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it could be I sing a different tune because I have a very old tune. Um, Eileen, 16. Steam, who? Sadi, Sadi. Sadiki? No, Sadiq. Sadiqim. Sadiqim? Yeah, Sadiqim. Oh. Yeah, you were okay. right. You were headed there, but you wouldn't let yourself yeah. get there. But, um, could that be Badanai? That's exactly what it is, Badanai. Okay, so read it one more time smooth. Okay. Sim Hu Sadiqim Badanai. Badanai. Badanai, exactly, yes. Tani 17. Okay, Eruz. Oh, there's a three dots under the two first letter, the first okay. and second, or the second and third letter, sorry. Okay, Erez. Exactly. Balvanu, no, mm -hmm. Balvanon, yes, Yiska. Exactly, read it again smooth. Okay, Erez. So it's not really key because under the first letter is a shva. Ke, ke, so ke, ke, ke erez mm -hmm. yiska. 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 So ke erez balvanon yiska. yiska. It's a little tricky, but you did it. And I'm so proud of you for getting that zion at the end erez, of the first word. Balvanon yiska. That's not erez, right? That's it's not Eretz, it's no. Erez. Erez. It's a different word entirely. Yes. Okay. Erez. Yes. Okay. 18. Erez. Linda? Um, uh, Sabenu. Mm -hmm. um, meet. Meet to Vecha. Exactly. Sabenu, meet to Vecha. That's exactly the phrase. Audrey, 19. Yamin Us Usa Us Mo Us Mo Mal. There's an O right Us Mal. Because the mem is completely silent. The Aleph has no sound, but you have that O before the Lamid. Us Mal. I thought I, I did. So it's not mole? Like a mole in the ground? Yeah, it is. Is that what you said? I didn't hear it that way. But yes, yeah. that's it. That's it. Us Mal. Yes. Um, uh, teeth, rotsi. Perfect. All right, so now I'll read the three together. <laughs> you asked <laughs> so much. <laughs> um, yamin, u, uh, uzmol, teeth, rotsi. Yes, yamin, uzmol, teeth, rotsi. Yes. And I have uh, another simple question that probably everyone knows. For the ba um, what does the ba mean? Two. Well, yes, two. Like ba it is to my house, ba is two. And what does the oh, la mean? Uh, and I mean? I don't know exactly in the prayer how they want, but something about something to God. Yishmehu tzadikim. Are La and Ba both two? Oh, well, that's a, 
That's it. I, in fact, they might be. Okay. They might be. Um, well, Ba might be. So, Babayat, Babaita. Ba means calm, right? Ba, I thought. Or Not it's exactly. both. That's both. Sorry, like, that's both. Yeah. That's both. Um, I mean, this isn't your job because no. you're just learning how to read, not to know what it means. Yeah. But I just got and I was wondering. And I might. Uh, I know, think law on. is too, as well, but um, yeah. they're used in slightly different contexts, I think. Anyway, all right. My prepositions are not perfect at this point. It's okay. Okay. Um, so 56, what time is it? Oh, we still have time. Um, um, Let's look at 56. So here he's focused on the bet versus the vet, right? Bet has the dot, the vet has no dot. And again, in the Shabbos morning service, there are many, many instances, and that's why he's having us practice here, of these slight changes. The sin versus the shin, the bet versus the vet, the v in front of a lot of words, the, the bet in front of words, the lamad in front of words, so that's what he's he's preparing you for. Um, so on page 56, line one, um, I think Connie, we're back to you. Ul Yishrei, mm -hmm. Lav. And there's two dots under that Lamed. Lav. Yeah. Ul Yishrei, Ul Yishrei, Lav, Samcha. One dot under the sin. Simcha. Thank you. Simcha. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, will you read the next line on it too? Let's, uh, we'll do sure. a couple. Uh, mm -hmm. The simcha uv tzachala. Beautiful. The tzachala. You did that one perfectly. Okay. Linda, will you read, starting at line two, the first two lines? Um, uh, carrot, carrots, bala, nu, nucha. Yes, yes, ga, ga, yes, ga. Baha, Sarah, Sarah, Baha, 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 El, Hai, 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 New, El, O, El, O, Hai, New. Mm hmm. Uh, yes, yes, we, who? Yes. Okay. Yeah, free Yeah, free who. Exactly. So this one's a little tricky. So I'm gonna read it back to you. Keres Balvanon Yiske. Bechats wrote Elohenu Yafrihu. Okay. Now these are some unusual combinations that we haven't had, I think. But that's what we gotta do, right? We gotta practice them just the same. Okay, Audrey, will you do the last line of two and the first line of three? Or, or? That's a, mm, that's a dalad, not a resh. That's a dalad, ode. You see it? Yeah, kind of, I, I almost did that and then I thought I was wrong, so. <clears throat> no, because, so let's focus on the dalad here, right? The resh is nice and smooth in its curve on the inside and the outside. The dalad is not, not so smooth and on the inside it has that angle going in that's a little crook yeah oh so it's like ode to billy joe <laughs> if you say so fine <laughs> <laughs> all i care is that that letter is pronounced Am like the only one who knows ode to i got it i got <laughs> it Tallahatchie oh, <I> <laughs> bridge i got it i get it but <laughs> it doesn't help when we're just looking at the hebrew <laughs> Ode you knew um boon mm -hmm. basay basai no you're right okay basay what do i do with that all right basay ba there ba. it is yep and then baal baal ma mm -hmm. uh d mm -hmm. no d okay good bara Mm hmm. Uh, ha heed. That's no, a race again. Here, here, here. Yeah. Here, 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 here
Yes. Okay. So let's go back. I'm going to read the, the triplet at line two, and then we'll start with line three. Just because I have a feeling this is all from one prayer, and I made us break it up. But so I'm going to start at line two. Ke'erez balv balvanon yiskeh b'chatzrot Eloheinu yafrihu od yenuvun b'seva. I'm sorry, but I just can't place this prayer. All right. But line three. Yeah, that's, that's um, but alma di vara chirute, right? Yeah, that's yeah. familiar. That's part of the school. Oh, that's um, familiar. Okay. Okay. So let's finish line, uh, the second line of the number three. Barbara, will you read that? Except that's a chet, the second letter. Oh, becha yichon. Yay, you had the yay, right? Oh. Ha ye hon. Exactly. Uv yo me hon. Exactly. Becha ye hon. Yeah, so ba'alma di bra hirute becha ye hon uv yo me hon. From Kaddish. Exactly, from yep. Kaddish, exactly, okay. Um, so Barbara, will you read the first line of four? The eight, na'asa, the hef, the hef so. Yes. Oh, the hef so, call. Exactly, now we all hear this as the hef so call is how people say it when they're singing it, but that's really not how it's written. So I probably shouldn't have told you that, but it's le'et nasa behefso kol. Okay. Uh, Mary Ellen, will you read the last, the next two lines on four? Levado. Mm -hmm. Yim lok. Yes. Va zor. Yep. He Kali He no He He Vali. Well, so the vet is really going to go with the first letter. So Kevli. Kevli. Yeah. Kevli. Okay, so it's only two. Kevli. Ba eight. Mm -hmm. Zara. 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 So it's the eight Nasa, the Hef So Kol. Levad, Levado, Yimloch, Betzor, Chefli, Be'et, Sara. These are the, the lines he's got, right? Yeah. So some of this should be familiar. It yeah. is, but I can't place where. Right. Betzor, Chefli, It's a Don Alam, exactly. Part of a Don Alam. Ah, okay. Right? A Don Alam, the Shema, Tarek, Bori, Sivar, Be'et, Nasa, Be'et. Yeah, okay. Got it. I got there. I got there. I got there. I know you know it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Eileen, will you read line five? Yeah. It's Adenoya Lohenu. Uh-uh. Oh no, I was saying so fast. I'm sorry, I'll do it. Vahav et Adenoy Elohecha. There it is, Elohecha. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So, and the point is, as one of the, as Ann Schimberg was saying in the email regarding, you know, self-evaluations that, uh, that you guys should be able to be handed a prayer book and we point to a line, regardless of if you know the prayer or not, you should be able to just sight read the line is the point of, well, certainly at the end of the intermediate I'm sorry, at the end of the advanced beginner class of Hebrew, so the next semester, any line in the prayer book, you should be able to just sight read. That's the goal, okay? Oh, at the end, at the end of the <laughs> At the end, yeah, yeah. yeah. That your fluency, you, <laughs> your fluency should be that okay, right? You, and they, 
The idea being you shouldn't have to sound out each and every syllable, right? You should be able to smoothly kind of go through it. Now, I'm not saying you can read it as fast as maybe I could or Rabbi Ellen Rollins Fields could, right? But you should be able to read it, right? That makes sense? Well, it all, you know what? I'm finding that making it sound smooth all depends on the silent vowels. I mean, the accent. That's the hope for me. That's the key to getting it sounding right. And I think you're saying, you're saying the same thing I'm saying, which is understanding where the syllables are, where you break yes. up the word into its syllables. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree with you. And that takes practice. Right. And that's why we have two semesters for this whole kit and caboodle. Right. OK, so um, I know we didn't cover a lot of pages today, but I think we reinforced a lot of things. I think your fluency is improving. Um, so next week. Um, so let's turn to page 58 and 59 just for the heck of it. Um, so we'll do by Hulu, um, which is the paragraph you do before Friday night, uh, Kiddush, right? By Hulu, Hashamayim, Beharetz, Bechol, Tzavam, Vayichal, Elohim, Bayom, Hashvi'i, Melachto, Asher, Asa. Right, by Yishpot, by Yom Hashvi, Mekom Malachto Asher Asa, by Yivarech Elohim at Yom Hashvi. Anyway, I'm terrible at singing and I often go off key, but that's what that paragraph is. The paragraph prior to Kiddush. We already learned Kiddush on page 45. We're going to do them together because I think it makes sense to pull them together. Okay. Um, so if you want to practice, you know, you don't have to just practice reading what we've done before. You can practice reading what's coming up. Totally up. It's totally fine because there's not a new letter happening on page 58 for you. Um, and I will, I will definitely include the pages for the alphabet and the vowels. And you should familiarize yourself with the names in the alphabet, right? You know, just read right down. Aleph, Bed, Heva, you know just like we taught our kids the alphabet. Um, and even though it's New Year's Eve, we'll be here in the morning. <laughs> right? I, I, have a question about, I have a question about the um, alphabet list on page 59. Okay. I can't, remember, I can't remember enough of Debbie Friedman's song, but- and I don't know the song at all. Aleph, bet, bet, aleph, bet, bet. Okay, well, so this page 59 is not the page you want to use that for because this is out of order, page 59. Zion. Oh, it's right, starting with Zion. So you want to go oh, to page. Right. <laughs> you want to go to page 67. Seven. Oh, oh, okay. So the page that you did before. Because um, right. I noticed looking at page 59, maybe I started out in the wrong place today. Um, it, there was no Lamed and there was no Nun, and I wondered if anything else was missing. But I'll yeah. look at 67 and come and compare. You know, I, personally, I don't know why he has what he has on page 59. Yeah, just it doesn't make sense. I thought he was reminding us of the vowels also, because those have the vowel exercise. Right. Oh, well, you, no, you, you know what he's done? He's grouped like Pei, Fei, Tet, Tuff. Right, okay. that that he's grouped yeah. them together to yeah. show it for some reason, which oh, just makes it more confusing. I think <laughs> yes, there, I, I you know again he's a teacher. I'm just a, a lowly volunteer. And, <laughs> well, uh -huh. thank you. Yeah, that, thank you. I got hung up on the wrong page. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's okay. just some practice on page fifty nine, and and I you know what I think the other reason he does it is. Right, that there are some he wants to group together, the tough, what used to be the saf, which is now the tough, and then the tet, the bet, the vet, the vav. So those are all very similar sounds. So he's grouping them by sounds a little bit. Although why he starts with the zion and then the gimel, I don't know. But that's neither here nor there. Then he goes to the hey, the chet, the chaf, the kaf, right? So those all are together. And then the bottom are the shin, the sin, and the samach. So these are similar sounding letters. 
in whatever order he's chosen to put them in on page 59, with the exception of the Zion and the Gimel at the top, whatever. But on page 67, if you want to sing that song, here's your alphabet in order with the name <laughs> of each letter. Oh, I can't sing the song. I don't know it. I don't know it either. I apologize. I just know, I don't know that yeah. I ever learned it. I don't know it. Yeah. If we okay. can find it, we can share it with each other, but I don't know it. <laughs> I'm okay. sure he has a YouTube of it. There's I'm sure. I'm sure, there sure is. it's out there. What I just remember it from when my kids were learning it that they would sing it all the time. So. Yeah, and I don't think I learned it. I think I was just taught the letters. I don't know. I don't think when we were that age, Debbie Friedman. Debbie Freeman wasn't around. Oh, well, there yet. we go. Okay. <laughs> and now she's not around again. I know it's a tragedy. All right. So, um. So that's that. We'll see each other next week. And, um, uh, you know, keep doing a great job. And then I'll likely want to keep with you and then do the next semester. We'll learn it together. Oh, is that the thing? If we're not wonderful, then you'll leave us? <laughs> that's an impetus for us to be that's wonderful, right? right? That was, yeah, I simply said it for what Mary Ellen said. It's an impetus for you to want to be wonderful if you want me to keep going with you. <laughs>